Welcome back to another edition of Action News. A lot has happened since last week. Thanks to Punxsutawney Phil, we learned that spring will come early. We also had the first palindrome day in 909 years. And we have Super Bowl champions that aren't the New England Patriots. But there is even more to talk about in the insurance industry, so let's get right to it. Hiring top talent and retaining good employees is something that is on everyone's minds these days. And if it isn't, then it should be. A recent article from Insurance Journal noted that hiring momentum is slowing, but surprisingly, not in insurance. According to the survey conducted by the National Association for Business Economics, the declines in employment were in the services, goods, producing, and transportation, utilities, information, and communications industries. Gains in employment were in finance, insurance, and real estate. The full article is linked in the description below and in our weekly e-newsletter. Part of these employment gains may be due to more businesses adopting flexible work arrangements as an added bonus of employment. In an article from last week in PropertyCasualty360.com, it discusses how many employees, millennials and retiring workers, are looking for a benefit you can give them rather easily, working from home. With the average telecommuter being 45 years old, it's worth looking into the benefits in the article linked below. And finally, Consumer Reports recently released an article comparing higher repair costs for vehicles due to the decrease in accidents um, because of new technologies. The new advanced driver assistance systems like lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control, and backup cameras have increased the safety of vehicles as well as the cost to repair parts with these components. Learn more about how the technological advances are changing the auto claims landscape and how auto repair shops are trying to keep up in the article below. Thanks for checking in for this week's Action News. For additional news stories, visit our website at www.iaw.com and follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. We'll see you next week.